yeah welcome welcome once again to Rancho solution video tutorial on this video tutorial i'm going to tutor you guys on group 2 assignments which i titled the growth of population so actually this video was being produced by two friends Rancho um gandhi bear so let's get started with the question So yeah, the question says, um, given that the population of computer science students at the year 2001 is 600, develop a chart that would display the ingrowth of the departments from 2001 to, two, to the present year and have experienced a steady growth of 25% of every year. So actually, we are being starting from 2001. So the present year is actually going to be 2014 so um and the given population is 600 so let's know the 25 percent of the 600 of every annual year of every year so um calculation to get the 25 percent of 600 people to get the 25% of it that they increase in 25% every year. So we're gonna say 600 times 25 divided by 100 is equals to 150. So notes every so every year is in, is increased by 150. So let's get started. Yeah, so to open up your Microsoft Excel, you click on all programs microsoft office and go to microsoft office excel 2007 yeah it's open yeah so i've already solved um the solution but um i'll try to go to show you guys on how we are going to do this and make this happen so that you know how to do it so let's get started on new sheets so on new sheet you guys are just going to type some things that I, I type there so actually just type in this and then type in population and the year so let's populate our data yeah so we have populated our data with this so um because of our 150 population annually that is every year they increase by 150 so the actual um uh, from uh, from this you know 600 plus 150 750 you now keep on adding them and you get this so let's um put in our years so you now find out that our table is true so we are true with the table so in 2001 they they have this 2002 they have this 2003 they they ha have this so let's get started so just um I like through this bar because in the question that we are not being we are not being given an a specific chart so we are going to make use of the most popular chart in the whole world uh, which is peer charts you now use peer charts and days so here right now we now get the data uh we now get the charts but actually there's nothing here and it's also only showing us the population here so to change this name you can just click here and write something like um growth population and that is it now to put in the labels inside this place you can see that it's been increasing so uh the bar chart here the colors are being showing us the numbers are showing us the years 2001 2002 to rest of them so you can from here try to minimize this so that it will reach to 2014 and that is the last one so here to put in the labels you like you click on it light click and go to add a label so here is actually have added a label to us then we need and uh, these colors are being specified us by this thing and for us to put years inside these numbers simply um simply do this 
yeah simply this is click on the chart let click and say select data so um in our select data you will get this window out so actually you are going to choose the year because you want to modify the year which is showing us the numbers we now click on edit here and start typing the exit label range so actually we have 2001 to 2014 and you will start typing 2001 comma 2002 comma 2003 comma 2004 comma 2005 comma 2006 comma 2007 comma 2008 comma 2009 comma 2010 comma 2011 comma 2012 comma 2013 comma 2014 comma and you click ok so actually you click ok here and you now see that numbers will be changed to the year that they have been modified so this is how to make this thing happen so to change the um the, the design you can go here and choose any design that you want and it actually appears the way you want it to be so here you can go to layouts the shuttle name is now above shuttle the label type you can choose uh, the best fits so is here so that is it for the bar shots but we can also include this guy the column shots the column shots is also a most popular shot in the world uh, mostly used you now go to insert choose a column shots let's do the and it will actually give us this so you will not have this because we are not because we are not being given a, a specific ones we are also just make use of this one so to change the numbers i've told you re recently on what you are going to do click on this right click and say select data and click on the year and now put to here and edit and put what you're supposed to put there so you now type in from 2001 to 2014 and click ok so i am also ok it here so you now see that it will now been specifying you the growth that the department of computer science department growed from 2001 to 2014 you can see the dimension of the growth on how it works so either you use the column bar or you use this one so to verify this go to design choose anyone that you like here and make this in a beautiful way so thank you thank you for watching any question you can now forward to rank show see me in the class um talk to me i will now face it out i'm still your friend urum ekene rank show remember this tutorial was being produced by two friends rancho and gandhi berry thank you